How y'all doing? Off of the garden here. Got the cooter on the leash today. Let him walk around out here. Huh? Kind of afraid for him to get. Walk around out here by himself. Scared he's going to get over. Maybe out on the road to get run over or something. You know, we have to look out for them. And they try to look out for us, you know. We're going to go out here and put this sprinkler on his green. I can get it through the fence. How's everybody doing today? Good Wednesday evening. Going out here to check on the green. I haven't been out here in a day or two. I figure I'll walk out here and check on them. You know, I got some in the front yard growing in them pots. are doing a whole lot better than these. But them in them pots is under a shade. Now out here's broad sunlight. A mustard green. My wife wants me to pick a mess tomorrow, so I'm going to just come out here and look. Maybe put the sprinkler in the, out here. I don't know yet. I, I left the water on. I don't know if y'all know that. <laughs> I left the water on the other day. Well, it was all weekend long. And, Lord, I thought I was going to have to take out a loan to pay, pay the water bill. I said, well, I'm going to shoot them $100, so I paid them $100, and I called her how much my uh, water bill going to be, and she said $51, so that telling me that it was $151. Praise God. I know that's a good bit, but it's better than what I thought anyway. And with the Lord, it's always that way. I think I'm gonna let this lie for a while. They look pretty good, don't they? I think. I mean, they bit back because it's so been so darn hot. But let me get over here and see if I got any turnip bottom. I think I got some coming. Still not big enough to eat, but they coming on. I think they need to be thinned out more than anything. Oh well. You know how old men do, I'm 71, and old men get where they sit up and watch the news a lot. Lord have mercy, things I'm hearing, I don't know how any Christian man can hold his hand up long enough to pull a lever down for somebody that's against Jesus Christ. And everything that's moral she goes against. How can a Christian stand up and pull the lever for somebody like that? I want, I want y'all to just answer that question and just send me, a, send me a message here on YouTube. Let me know what you're thinking, what you, how you feel about that. Now, Jesus Christ, we're talking about God's son. She told him that. They were at the wrong rally. Well, I tell you, I don't like, I don't judge nobody. I try not to judge nobody because, I, you know, I stand behind the pulpit for Jesus Christ and preach God's word, I pray. And what I'm saying here today is, my Bible says, 
Well, I'm not going to tell you right now what the Bible says. I'm just going to say, if you read it, how you, if you read the Bible, and if you rely on Jesus Christ as your risen Savior, how in the world can you vote for someone that goes against everything in the Bible? Just because of a vote, she's not going to stand up for Jesus Christ. She's not going to stand up for Jesus Christ and I believe that's what's going to be her downfall, people. Now, I'm not no predictor of the election and all that, but I believe that's going to be her downfall. Because God's not going to stand for somebody going to get this son. The Bible says we uh, go against the Holy Spirit. That's one sin that you can't be forgiven for, right? We're talking about Jesus Christ. We're talking about the Son of the living God. And the president want to be of this United States is wanting to go against God and, and what this country was found on. How in the world can we stand up and allow that, Christian? Christian folks I'm talking to here today. And this is Papa the Garden. And I'm a uh, preacher. And I search the truth. Praise God, I try to search the truth. Let me say that. And sometimes I might get off the chain a little bit, as we all do in the flesh. But what I'm saying here today, if you read the Bible, study the Scripture, get in with Jesus Christ, and relate the Holy Spirit when He's speaking to you, and follow Him, you can't go wrong. Because your conscience is not going to let you vote for the wrong person. If you have any or any kind of a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because he is the one that needs to make the, the, the decision, not us, right? So how can we stand up and say, I'm going to make this decision based on what? Is it based on the Bible, Christian? Is it based on the Bible? It's the Holy Spirit telling you. It's the Holy Spirit telling us. Which way to vote? I think we are. I think it is. I think it is. If we would just listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying, we ha there's no way possible that we could ever vote For someone that she stands for. Hey, Amen. She's ten times or a hundred times worse than Biden was. And we're going to vote for her just because she's a woman? Just because. I don't know why just because. I don't understand. I mean, and the news is playing as a whole, uh, the nose on your face every day on what's going on around this world and what's going on right now under this administration. But we're going to turn around and vote for it again? <laughs> Can't go to the grocery store. I went into Walmart. Going to pick up a few things before I can get out of there. It was 60 something dollars. Now, I don't know about you, but that's just a friendly visit to Walmart or friendly visit to any store just about. And you're going to walk out of there. With a price, you're probably going to have to take a loan out sometimes to even buy groceries, huh? And we're going to stand for this another four years? Oh, my God. Anyhow, my, my grades is looking good. We ain't had no rain here in quite a while. I mean, it's been a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but it's been a while. Good Lord provided. I got me a water hose and I I'm able to grow a few things that I really love. I don't get carried away no more with the garden or nothing. I may I don't know, second thought I may plant me a little bit here come springtime. But I'm not gonna do like I used to do. Have truckloads of tomatoes and all that, I 
just about give out of that. Oh, they ready to be fed. Got a few cats that was born that long ago. That's my uh, walking onion. Right there. As you can see, they are so thick. But they are good. See that? They're good eating. There's my trumpet over there. That thing's pretty neat. I don't do justice on this camera. Look how big it is. That's a big, big flower. I planted some greens in these pots. There, all I see coming up now is a, some kind of tree weed or something. Tree weed. Don't know these pots. I see one coming up right there. I don't need them right now. I, God has blessed me with some greens over here in these pots. These mustard greens. I wish that one on planted my. There's an oak pot up there. Wish I went on and planted my turnip greens when I planted my mustard greens. Then I'd have turnips to eat. That's the wife Des to come in the other day. We gotta get that put together. My son's supposed to come down and put it together for us. But you know, them vines there, you know, dying. And my uh, Potato, sweet potato vines. Look at there. I said, Lord have mercy. That's overnight. Over, all, overnight, all of a sudden, they died. And it got kind of cool the other night. And I think we had a frost here in northeast Louisiana. That's my mustard greens. I picked them the other day. We'll try to get a mess tomorrow, which I think I can. That's in broad leaf mustard. Got a few cabbage plants. I grew up off the other day there. They coming right along. There's one over there. They come along pretty good. I just I planted them and I put some of that oh uh, granulated miracle grow in them. And they ain't checked up. They coming on there. See them, uh, potato vines died in that. That'd be a frog. And these are my multipliers. I got a few weeds in there. But don't be looking at that. Look at my look at my pretty onion. How I many they thick hair on the dog's back? Come on, Scoot. I'm trying to teach him how to walk around on this leash. This sure's good talking to y'all today. Sure good uh this did we? And me and Scooter gonna get in the truck. Right out here, go check the mail. There's me a little. There. There's. I don't know if that's a word or not. There is a word. I mean, there's a tomato plant right there growing. If you can see it. Oh, he's up in the way. made a plant growing up in there. I planted it a while back. I don't know if it's going to make it through the... I'm going to put it in that greenhouse so it'll make it through the uh, first part of the winter. It gets real cold. You know, it'll die away, but I might mess around and get a tomato on it. Y'all keep checking back with me. Let's see if I do. What day is this? It's a day the Lord has made, and it's good to be alive in His presence. Amen. 
All right, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see y'all later on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, and that like button. And I will be forever indebted to you. Thank y'all. Have a blessed day.